In Warsaw, you will not find such a great apartment for this amount of money anymore. Hi guys! My name is Arvina. We moved to Warsaw, Poland about a year ago and this is the apartment we've been renting for the past year. Today I'm going to give a whole tour on this apartment and at the very end I will share the price. So stay tuned! Let's start from the entrance door and here I'm in the corridor right now. This is the entrance door and this mirror I'm looking at is one of the wardrobes. In this apartment there are a lot of storage spaces, which is great. There is another wardrobe here. These shelves are for shoes. And there is another shelf for shoes here. So this is the entrance door and here is the bathroom. One wardrobe, second wardrobe, third wardrobe. And two more here, remember? Why do I pay so much attention to the storage spaces? Like to us, it's the key when you live in the rental apartment. You know, sometimes there are rental apartments and you can see that it's for rental, it's just business because they do not have enough of items for living, for comfortable living, so you have to buy it additionally. But this apartment actually was for people who lived here with two kids and they also loved many spaces for storage, so for us it was very convenient to live here. Anyway. So this is the wardrobe for clothes, this is for trousers, this is for belts, very convenient. On the opposite side this part is for jackets, this one for scarves, I don't know, whatever. And on this side there is a washing machine. Originally there was a drying machine here, but they took it with them. So basically if you're living here, renting an apartment, you can buy additional one. And storage space number five here. Basically a shelf, shelf, shelf and shelf. So all the storage spaces, most of it, are here in the corridor. As we move forward, we go to the bathroom and I really loved bathroom here. Let's enter. There is a huge mirror that I like. There is a huge shower that we loved. We love this shower. It's huge, the size of a bathroom, I must say. Yes, probably. And you just enter your shower here, there is a lot of space and here we did put all the shampoos, all the washing jelly and so on. And the glass doors are cool. And actually it's not that uh, hard to take care of it, we just uh, have our own technique <laughs> of cleaning these glass doors and it's fine. When we lived in Taiwan we had the same and we remember how to do it. And yes. Huge uh, mirror is a plus for sure, huge sink, uh, some space for, I don't know, for the soap, for the toothbrushes, and again, many storage spaces. One, two, three, this was landlord, so we also left it here, four, separate uh, a box <laughs> for toilet paper, uh, toilet itself, what else? The towel dryer. Here again, look how many shelves. Da -da -dun, da -dun. Here as well. These items are landlords, so we left it here as well. So as you can see, in terms of storage, super convenient. No need to buy any additional wardrobes or so. So this is the bathroom we like. This is the bathroom we will remember because we really love this apartment and guys, honestly, I'm gonna miss it, seriously. As I move forward, probably you have a question, why do we want to change this apartment if we love it so much? Honestly, this is not our decision. The landlords of this apartment, it's a family and they decided to get a divorce. Well, this is life, <laughs> anything may happen. And one of them will temporarily be living here in this apartment as we think, or as, well, as they said initially. 
and um, probably later they will sell it. So that's the life and we have no choice. Let's move on and as you walk here, you turn right and there is a kitchen. And you know what is convenient? That you may walk in the kitchen, walk around and get back to the corridor. This is super convenient, seriously. Very nice. As you may see, a lot of storage spaces. Again, shelves there, shelves here. <laughs> super convenient. So here was the stove and the kettle. So we're leaving it here. And the dishwasher, very big dishwasher. We loved it, seriously, especially this part. When you put all the spoon, oh, I have to put it back. Here on this side, they have a fridge and a oven and a microwave. It is very convenient to use it this way. And especially, you know, when you washed all the dishes, you open it and you put the dishes here. Yes, these are not our dishes. Uh, the landlords left some of the dishes to us while we were living here, so we are leaving them as well. Let's move forward here. You may see the dining area. I really love these chairs. Very convenient and very beautiful. And I have three gray chairs and one yellow. And this wall is very stylish. It was hand painted. Um, Landlord said that she just found a picture on the Pinterest that she liked and she asked someone to, to come and paint it. And you see like this, this is not yellow, it's kind of golden. And this is the living room with some shelves again on the wall on the right side. And of course with some shelves um, on the left side and a sofa. Let me show you these shelves closer. So we put orchid there and just some vase or beautiful stuff here. Looked pretty nice. And these shelves also like black golden color for books or for some beautiful items. And look out of the window. The view is just great. This is why I love Vilanov district. And the view to the apartment from the window, because usually the lighting from the window is the best. One more space for, for storage here. And you know what? Honestly, at first we didn't even know what to put there because so many spaces for storages. Some shelves are like this. Some shelves are like this. But anyway, it's really cool. Let's go further. And there is a bedroom here. This was the bed we were sleeping at. Our baby Alice's crib was here. And these two wardrobes were for Alice's clothes because they are for kids. So this little wardrobe, I think everybody know this IKEA kids wardrobe. And this one was partly for Alice's clothes, partly for, you know, just the blankets for the bed. Because more of shelves here. And a little balcony. I say little because it's literally little, but still, it's always better to have a little balcony than no balcony at all, right? So this is the balcony and these are the flowers we planted. Probably if you've been watching our video vlogs, you remember how accurately Vitaly chose the flowers here and we really loved this area. But you know, we uh, these um, pots are landlords and we don't think that we can take it. Well, of course not. <laughs> so we decided, okay, well, maybe while well, they will be living here, they will be enjoying these flowers. And the view, the view, watch the view. So again, this is the balcony. It's kind of small, but still we managed to put a chair here. Usually I put a pillow here. Uh, you know, the, the, we bought a special pillow to sit here. And we're sitting here having some coffee and enjoying the view. There is a hidden room in this apartment. And you know what? This is actually a two room apartment, bedroom and living room. But there was a wardrobe that they turned into a room. 
Da -da -da -da. Let me turn the lights on. So basically this was the room for clothes and they turned it into the bedroom. You may see <laughs> mirror there. So there is not much of light here because we returned the lamp, the old lamp that they had here. When we lived here, we used another lamp and this was our cabinet. cabinet. We had our working space here with the tables and computers and we store some documents and some files there. And it actually was pretty cool, except for one little thing. There is no window there. And first, it's kind of dark, like you're sitting in a, in a room with no window. And second, it's kind of hot. <laughs> because during summertime, outside is like 30 degrees and indoor kind of, kind of hot as well. So anyway, let me show you this shelf. Also a okay, shelf just many many shelves and when our landlords lived here this was their bedroom so basically they had this bed here and this was the room for kids probably you guys eager to know the price for this apartment so for the reference this apartment is 65 square meters and we've been paying for it attention 4,300 zlotek per month this price includes everything and water and electricity and media, meaning internet and TV and also the management fee, uh, which is change and parking spot. And yeah, so basically now when we we're looking for a new apartment, we were not able to find anything similar for such price. So we were lucky to live in this apartment for a year and really thanks to landlords for everything. And we really shared and created so many great moments and memories here. Really, Alice learned how to walk in this apartment and it was our first home in Warsaw. And you know, I'm saying that and I really feel so touched. And yes, that was great that we had an opportunity to live here. But what can we do? Life goes on and we have no choice. <laughs> Now we live in another apartment, which is great as well. We also love it, but we will always remember this apartment. And this is also one of the reasons I am making this video tour. I just mentioned that management fee is included. So guys, let me show you the inner yard of this house community, right? Let's walk a bit. So I walked out of the apartment. There is an elevator here, but we are going to take stairs. Some people do park their bikes here. Let's walk a bit. For me, it was so unusual that there is so much space here. Seriously, like <laughs> in other countries, these stairs are really smaller and you know, they don't have these huge windows here. So let's walk. That is the door to the parking spot, garage. And we are on the first floor. So again, let me show you the elevator. Pretty big and comfortable. It was enough of space to enter here with a buggy and with a bike. This is one of the entrances to this house community. Here are the mailboxes. And this door, it's a room to store uh, buggies and bikes. And I don't have a key right now with me. I was so lucky I did take the key. Woohoo! So let me show you this room. Oh. See? Many bikes. And some of the apartments, they do have their own storage spaces. Let's go. And if you want to enter back, you will need to enter the password and each door has different password. So this is the inner yard and this is a house community, meaning that there are more houses there having the same inner yard. This is the playground for kids. Let's take a closer look. This is where Alice really loved to play. Some sand with some toys. These toys are always here and this is great because you do not need to bring your own toys to come here. So you just come and the kid plays. And during the nighttime it's always covered. Uh, you know, just to avoid any dirt or 
rain or I don't know, whatever. And also some of <laughs> the toys here for kids. For Alice, this was perfect. And a bigger slide here. Alice only did that with Papa, <laughs> but she really loved it. It was really great to walk here with our dog Akemi because as you see, woohoo! Three more houses there and it's a long way maybe, I don't know, usually it took us maybe 10 or 15 minutes to walk that way slowly and return back. When you have a dog and when you have a closed territory to walk with it, this is very convenient. Another playground here, swing for kids, for adults. And this one's sport corner. Alice really, Alice really loved this ones, and she always asks me or Vitali to sit nearby. Vitali loved this part. <laughs> oh yeah, and Alice also liked to 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 play with this one. I have such mixed feelings right now. From the one side, I feel really blessed because we found really great apartment and we love it there now. But here we do have so many memories and it was really nice for us to live here. So whenever we come back, we feel really great. And right now I feel kind of sad that this is probably one of the last times we are walking here. Anyway, walk to this part a little bit. And in the end of this house, that's the end of this park. This little building is the security post. They are always there, so in any case, you can call or either come here. Such house community system is really great. When we lived in Taiwan, as you remember, we lived in Taiwan for more than 11 years, and uh, we also rented apartments in house communities there. And you know what? For some of the house communities, they did have the swimming pool, outdoor, either indoor, they did have pool and ping pong table and KTV room, which is karaoke. So really many different facilities. This is super convenient. Um, they were trying to follow this American system and it really worked well. And here I also know that there are some house communities with uh, swimming pools, but we weren't able to find any so far here in Vilano for the price we wanted. But I don't know, maybe someday, sometime, who knows. And we are back to this playground, which I showed you in the very beginning. Let's go back. Every day there was a gardener here taking care of the gardens, of the grass, of all the bushes and flowers and everything. So this is really great that, you know, this territory is well taken care of and you pay this management fee and you see <laughs> that they're really managing it. And yeah. What do you think guys? How do you like this apartment and house community guys? Please share in the comments below. Do you think the price is reasonable or is it too cheap or we were so lucky <laughs> to have it for such price? Or maybe you were able to find something like this but for cheaper price in Viranov district? Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you're interested to see our new apartment, please share in the comments below. I can make this video as well.